I know it wasn't the outcome you wanted, but how'd you feel? How'd you feel you came out of it physically? Uh, I mean, came out unscathed. Uh, you know, I walked off the off the court healthy, happy. Um, <clears throat> you know, just really getting to enjoy competition again. Uh, I mean, that's the I kept the main thing. The main thing, go out there and compete. You know, get us some of this rust off, and uh, you know, we we back at it. You know, Bam. Obviously, in the very first game, you talked about that you don't want this team kind of getting used to kind of blowing these leads. And obviously, it happened once again today. Can you just kind of talk about maybe what happened that sort of led to that uh, sort of time at the end? Uh, you know, I feel like we're we're starting to rely on offense a lot, and uh, you know, we got picked that up on the other end. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of a lot of times we left dudes on islands by ourselves, and. Obviously, defense is not a one-on-one game. Even though you got guard your yard, you know, we got to help each other. We got to be on a string again. Bam, along those lines, they, they had some of this happens when you're on the bench, but they had 21 makes in the restricted area. Yeah. And they seem to do a pretty good job of finding where you weren't, of going away from you and, you know, not attacking one-on-one. What are they doing, the Wolves and, and some other teams, when they're getting in the restricted area to, to, to find their way to the rim? Uh... I mean, I feel like they're just it's it's complicated in a sense, but you know, for us we, we call it, you know, blow by straight line blow blows. Um, you know, this league is tough. You got guys who are stickers, um, and you're closing out the guys and trying to get them off the line and then swing, swing, swing. And that's where we get caught where they get to be in the restricted. Um, they get a blow by couple passes and <clears throat> we have to get back to that part where you know we keep defending we keep uh sustaining for the whole 24 seconds bam it, that hip thing had been lingering for a while and then you decided you know basically take some some time off there can you just sort of describe what that is is it like a pain tolerance thing or how much was it sort of limiting your movement and did you feel any of that kind of stuff tonight no because <laughs> i wouldn't have been out there uh but pain tolerance, you know, I've uh, throughout my whole career, I've tried to play through stuff, you know, take your mind off of it. Uh, once you get in competition, it, you seem to forget about it. And obviously it was limiting to me to <clears throat> be who I was. And, you know, coach kind of took it out of my hands and was like, you, you got to sit. So uh, it was great that I got that, got that rest period. Um, but, you know, I'm healthy now and, you know, we got to get back to the, to the winning column. Bam, moving past tonight, you have an event tomorrow night. Um, what, what are you so excited about events like that, and why is it so important for you to connect, you know, with the, the youth of the community? Man, um, like I've always said, when I was younger, I've never had, you know, anybody, you know, from a town that I lived in, near my town, in my state, uh, you know, come and do things for us like that. Um, you know, so they'll be at the Senate. Santa Enchanted Forest, you know, and they just get all gifts. Um, and it's really just to show them that people care about them, even though, you know, they feel like they're down and out there. And uh, those situations a lot of us in the league have been in where <clears throat> some people need a a figure for them to, I guess, can you can look at, you can see, visually see, like, where they come from and – you know, ask them questions, understand that they've made it out of the same situation you're in and you have a chance. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. I got a matter of people.